thumbnail babes today i'm coming at you guys with a little bit of a different video i actually already posted it on my instagram it's my cruella set i'm finally gonna post me actually creating them i absolutely loved creating this set it was so much fun i was literally watching cruella and i was like okay i'm gonna do a nail set right now so I was literally watching Corella as I was doing these and I was in love. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the application process. much once I was done applying my base color which was obviously white I decided to just go ahead and put in acrylic black dots to kind of give that Dalmatian look I was debating whether or not to do it with acrylic or do gel art so then I just decided you know what I'm gonna do it in acrylic I felt like the 3d look encapsulated inside the mail was gonna look super fire regardless I think the gel would have looked just as neat but I don't know I felt like the acrylic just brought it all together but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below If you guys are liking the video so far, please make sure to hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to turn those notifications on so you know when my next video drops.
I really wanted to try a new technique, which was like a split color um, to just kind of bring both the white and the black together. So I was like, I'm gonna try it on this set. And I feel like it came out so freaking cool. So most people that I've seen um, apply the acrylic and then like cut it, right? And then take the, the extra acrylic off to have that straight line. But I didn't want to do all that, honestly, which I feel like the way that I did it took a lot longer, but I don't know, I liked it. <laughs> so I just started on the left side, finished up with the white, and then I went in with the black, um, just because I know black is a little bit easier to um, see when you're trying to kind of fade them in together.
So once I was done applying the acrylic on the pinky, I decided to go back in on the ring finger with some silver foil and I just feel like it made her pop, you know, it was like super sparkly, but not too sparkly to overwhelm the entire set. It just brought the entire nail together. I absolutely love that I decided to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish applying the foil and then we're going to go ahead and start encapsulating everything and we're going to start filing. So I'll be completely honest with you guys, I totally misjudged my proportions on my monomer and acrylic ratios. So my beads were a little bit too wet, which is why they look like they smeared a little bit. So now I know in the future when I'm going to be using a, like acrylic inside of the actual nail before encapsulating to kind of dry out my bead a little bit more, not so moisturized, to kind of prevent that smearing. So. Yes, they look a little smeared, but honestly, I don't really care. They came out super, super cute once I was done, so it didn't really bother me. So don't judge me too harshly, guys.
once I was done encapsulating the nails, I went back in, made sure that the acrylic was settled, and then we started with the shaping. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the filing process, and then I will be back. to give that tad bit of red just to bring the entire set together and obviously a shout out to my girl Cruella. Once I was done I went ahead and put the final coat on and then I'm going to show you guys the final look.
guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to turn those notifications on so you know when my next video drops. Thanks for watching. And here is the final look. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and don't forget to turn those notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching.